Joined by Jody Shelley to get his take on this game tonight. How nice was this as a bounce back game? It was awesome. Right from the drop of the puck here tonight. First shift for Dubinsky, Felino out there. They took it to the Carolina Hurricanes. Skating, on the attack, really set the tone. And then Josh Anderson came out and got that goal from Pierre-Luc Dubois, who just picked up where he left off last night. A lot of guys were going. It got a little sloppy in the, in the last half of the first period. I think it was the defenseman up the ice. Hannafin got the goal for the Carolina Hurricanes. But with the defenseman up in the ice, it creates a lot of odd man opportunities from both teams. And we saw it. Puck's going to be turned over. Breakaways. Atkinson had one. Uh, of course, it took extra time for the Columbus Blue Jackets on a back-to-back -back situation. <laughs> but good job by them. Familiar territory here. The last seven or eight games, there's been a lot of close games like this. A uh, couple, of course, with some w bigger scores. But those games pay dividends on nights like this. Back-to-back -back situation, you're tired, things aren't perfect, your goaltender's in there for the first time in a long time since he's played, you're battling for him, you're at home, and you find a way to start right. Middle's not great, but the second period they got it adjusted, and then the third period, overtime, oh yeah, let's go to the shootout, and they did it with confidence. Cam Atkinson on that move in the first goal, I thought he was confident, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, and then Panarin kept uh, Scott Darling, the goaltender, a little bit off balance, off keel, and, and he made that uh, count. So good effort here by the Blue Jackets. They should feel good about themselves. And how about that? Within 24 hours, things are right again.